today is day one of uh, community activities, and that's arts and crafts. I do want to say a little something about um, the Anchorage here at Manjack. You know, you know, we've seen a lot of channels um, do a lot of traveling and cover a lot of distance. And for us, I think we that was the original plan. But as we got to you know last season, as we got to Manjack, um, I think w this does happen to a lot of cruisers. Is they find a spot and they end up staying for a while. And we just met so many amazing people that we wanted to come back and we still working on our skill set for sailing and cruising so you know this is a, a good safe area to come back to uh, but again you know it's different strokes for different folks and this kind of uh, cruising uh, just really suit us so we will end up cruising farther and exploring more but this season I think we're really gonna just kind of indulge in our friendships that we've made and um, kind of uh, you know just get into the vibe with this particular anchorage and culture here for at least a little while you know we just fell in love with the people here and we fell in love with the anchorage and the activities and things that people organize and we haven't seen that anywhere else so we definitely wanted to make a trip back to hang out for a while uh, you know finding a place and a community to engage with so uh, Today is day one of uh, community activities, and that's arts and crafts. So we're going to go get down with some, I don't know what we're going to get down with, but we're going to go find some stuff to create. Okay, a couple things that are important whenever you are going anywhere. Um, wireless speaker for music, and then uh, uh, my phone has all the music on it. Those are very important tools to having a good time on the beach. Okay. Anything from you? I was thinking like sunscreen, bug spray. Who needs bug spray and sunscreen? Yeah, Lily, you ready again. to go to the beach? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah. Look at that pretty new thingy. a few weeks here last year too um, but this is the Abacos and they were hit by Hurricane Dorian pretty hard last year so this looks a bit different um, while well, the palm trees are gone and then the mangroves back there I'm not sure if you can see that are just dead um, some of them are starting to come back but all the leaves blew off and then you know they couldn't survive after that so They've done a ton of work, uh, chopped down a lot of the trees and cleared the trails. There's some trails on this island and uh, started to try to get things back to normal. like having fun for the day. One of the reasons that we're doing this art day is because on this island there are a few different trails and one of them is an art trail. 
So over the years, people have created things from trash that they've found around the islands or broken things on their boat, things that they've brought in with them, and they've painted them or built them or sculpted them into these different things and put them all along this trail along the island. Now, because of the hurricane, a lot of stuff got knocked down, washed away, um, never to be seen again. So to make the art trail again, we're having an art day and putting everything up along the trail, which is just a really cool aspect of this island. It's called the Manjack Moose. Yeah, I'm gonna put it somewhere out of the window because those things are like sails. Project. I've been walking around looking for things to pick up from the hurricane. Um, both things to do more art with, but also just kind of cleaning up. One thing that I um, didn't really realize until I got here is that there's plastic everywhere. Um, plastic gets wound up in the trees and sometimes really up high where you can't get to them. So right now I'm just kind of going around and getting that stuff off the trees. It's just little things, but hopefully it helps in the long run. All right, well, that was a pretty successful art day. Uh, it started to get a little cloudy and a little windy, a little windier, so we're gonna run back to the boat. So, yeah, it was really fun. There's some really cool stuff. And it's all just from stuff people found on the beaches. Uh, so, sweet. Now time for a happy hour. dig this out a little. The next day, in true Man Jack fashion, instead of working on our own boat projects, we decided to help our friends pull a trimaran from the mangroves and resurrect it on the beach. We bought this boat back in the mangroves, and it's a 1970s Val. Yeah. This, this beast raced across the Atlantic, won a transatlantic race, came over here, got sunk out in the Exumas, and where another guy took it, took it completely apart, hauled it all the way back to Spanish Wells. So if sitting over there in Spanish Wells for a few years, they put it back together, got it all cleaned up, and then sunk again. They hauled it back to here, where it sat for three years. We so said, let's give it some life. Let's do the resurrection. Phase one of this uh, resurrection is complete, and that's getting it up to the beach. That was actually perfect. Yeah, coming up onto the beach. Yeah. There. You want me to lift up? <laughs> like the Egyptians. Oh, there. She's already rolling. Oh my God! Look at that. So much easier. Wow. But you know, like when I get the back of the boat. Okay, let's, let's start. Because I guess you can try pushing. Okay, let's get going. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, I was gonna fix the block. Relax. Three. One, two, three. She ain't moving. Okay. Nope. Stick him in there. Okay. There you go. Yes. Yeah, just get this ball in for a minute. Let's just see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's go. 
Well, we got it up a couple feet, maybe, I don't know, maybe six to ten feet. And that's about where it's going to stay right now. So, but little bits of progress. Pretty cool to see it, you know, little bits come together. So guys, what, 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 what needs to be done to get this boat ready to sail? What do you think, Jess? We gotta sand it, paint it, figure out the rudder, rudder assembly, rigging, halyards, sails, pretty much everything. We gotta serve an eviction notice, first of all, for that rat that's living back there. Anyway, this thing keeps cutting me off, but yeah, the rebuilding that everything, I'm gonna start over. Uh, I crashed the drones. It uh, looks like we are one drone down.